Um, what I would love is for for samples to be released. And I know, like I said, I know this isn't isn't, isn't anything that you control, uh, Dr. Ron. Nope. But <laughs> but <laughs> my my um, um, oh, what's going on around here? But my uh, request, you know, out to the whoever is the gatekeeper. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's like they've they've held on to this information so long for so long. I'm not even sure if I trust it <laughs> if they if they released it at this point. Um, it's almost like like food in the restaurant. If someone's taking too long for food in the back, it's like was you really here if they took like 30 minutes, an hour and a half to fix your food? But uh, exactly. It, but in any case, um, you know I I think that you know because you know we were before we were talking about genetic distance value and that if you were to, to, to compare your DNA against the right group, I believe, this is like I say, just a hypothesis that I'm throwing out there, but I, I believe that the right group for us is particularly in the, uh, in the territory of Judea, you know, like, and especially like um, around the, the, the relief, the Lakesh relief, like if some way, somehow we were able to get a hold of that uh, DNA, you know, DNA extracted from those sites. I think that that you would see extremely high numbers within our community. And like I said, it's just a hypothesis, but that's based off of a couple of things. You know, one, you know, one is, is of course, you know, we have the the, the catch relief. We also have the the analysis on the skulls, which uh, they determine were Egypto Nubian, but also uh, you know from oral traditions for people like. Uh, such as the, the the limba whose territory i guess if you look at some old old maps you'll find limba in uh the territory of reuben you know that's where uh, the, the the last uh place that they show up on a map is actually in reuben so places like either over in that that area during a certain period of time like uh in in the t territory of reuben in particular during the time of the maccabees i think that that would be in an extraordinary uh, match, but you know, like, I, I understand the game. You know, I, I understand why someone would not want to release those samples to compare our DNA to. Because, like I said, if we did, and if they actually truly release the, you know, the genuine DNA, I truly believe that, you know, you will see some matches, and then that will cause all kinds of problems. But just a hypothesis, just throwing it out there. I, I, I share your excitement. I hope the community would engage. And I will tell you that I am very concerned there will not be any more samples in the near future. As Israel is going through this uh, religious revolution, it will be even more strict about releasing this kind of genome, uh, this information. And don't be uh, don't mistaken, there, there are thousands and tens of thousands of skeletons that the data are not the problem. Uh, the, the existence of skeletons that show the whole history of Israel from all the region is is the, it exists. It's 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 hidden in at some university in some core basement, uh, but it's there. They're not being released because they're political pressures. Just just imagine, just for the sake of arguments, tomorrow you're releasing all the 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 the, the, the skeletons that you collected in Jerusalem, and they're all coming up E one B one. Do you see the, the, the Ashkenazi <laughs> rabbi uh, standing on a stage and then explaining this to people and saying, well, we have rights to this temple. That's not happening, right? Right, right, right. right. So, uh, or, or the Moroccan rabbi will come and saying the same thing uh, the Ashkenazi rabbi said. I don't know how they both can be right. <laughs> right. Um, th these are the problems we're dealing with, and I'm very concerned there may not be any more samples coming out, and we'll just have to do with what we have. Hopefully yeah. I'm wrong. Uh, but once again, the more pieces we have of this puzzle, the more we can put it together uh, with our resources uh, at my lab. Awesome. Pastor Kelly, did you have any other questions?